Watching what's happening in Haiti is eye opening for people all over Louisiana, but it hits close to home for a family in the New Orleans area. As Mike McDaniel explains, with loved ones living near where that earthquake hit, the last few days have been frightening and depressing. She's a long way from her home country, but Alita Monville's cooking keeps her connected to Haiti while at her restaurant, Belle Fouché, in Gretna. I love my country. That love is what makes watching rescue and recovery efforts from last weekend's deadly magnitude 7.2 earthquake so hard to watch. I'm crying, crying, crying every day. That quake hit the country's southwestern peninsula hard. It's the same area Monville grew up in before moving to the U.S. when she was 17. Friends and family members still live there, including her 80-year-old mother. After two days of worry, Monville was finally able to talk to her. Because cause the earthquake, the house is cracked. She don't want to stay inside the house. She's sleeping on the street? Yes, with my sister and my niece and my nephew. There are other family members she's still unable to reach. Watching videos sent to her, Monville says familiar streets and buildings are destroyed. Basic resources like water are lost and medical care is either limited or it doesn't exist. This cell phone video shows people being treated outside on blankets. It's like they, they can't catch a break. Monville's daughter, Juliana Francois, says most Haitians already struggle daily. In a country dealing with poverty, violence, political unrest, and a pandemic, Francois fears there is no help for those who are now homeless and in need. They have no hope. Their only hope is, you know, for, you know, other countries to help. Thankfully, that hope is showing up as U.S. resources filter in. Monville and Francois say the culture of Haiti keeps people from giving up on faith. They just wish they could be there to help. Even though, you know, they're suffering, there's no food, they always find a way to put a smile on their face. Knowing that keeps Monville cooking up Haitian cuisine while thinking of the people who were some of the ingredients that helped shape her life. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Monville and Francois are collecting donations like food and toiletries and even money at that restaurant in Gretna to send to the people in Haiti.